Number 23. For x is greater than 0, the function f is defined as follows. f of x equals 201% of x. Which of the following could describe this function? Okay, this one, it's not, it's pretty straightforward, but I also think it's a little sneaky. Because <laughs> there, there's just, um, it, it just, it's just sneaky to me. It just feels a little sneaky, and I'll show you why in a second. All right, first, when we're talking about decreasing exponential, decreasing linear, increasing exponential, increasing linear, we're really talking about, you can think of this in terms of shape. So like a decreasing exponential, it's going to look something like this. That as we go to the right, it is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It's getting closer and closer and closer to zero or to its, its line there. In this case is zero, but it's never crossing it. It's just getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. That would be a decreasing exponential. Decreasing linear is a straight line. That is a negative slope. That is, it's going down when we're going left to right. It's going down. Increasing exponential is going to be one that's whew, that's going up. And as we go left to right, it is increasing. All of these decreasing, increasing are based on, like in English, how we read. We read from left to right. They're all talking about increasing, decreasing in the same way. Increasing linear is a line that when we go left to right is going up. Even if it's ever so slightly, it's still going up. So they want to know this function, which one of those models is it closest to? So f of x equals 201% of x. Now, the reason I think this is a little tricky is because when we think about percentages, percentages come a lot, up a lot when we're talking about interest and compounding interest and things growing. Like if you have a bank account that grows at like, you know, we'll say amazing bank account. This would be at 5% every year. And you're like, ah, oh, that's exponential growth. Like you're getting 5% on 5% on 5%. So I think it's very common or very easy to look at this and go, ah, oh, it's a, a percentage of this, of X and it percents, you know, increase over time. That's how people make money on interest. So it must be an exponential growth. It's just increasing exponentially. So it's an increasing exponential. I'm done moving on. That's not what this is. I think it's very easy to look at it that way, but unfortunately, that's not the right way to look at it. So f of x is 201% of x. If I said, what is, I want to know, if I just had a number, let's say five, and I said, I want to know what is 125% of five, you multiply five by 125%. Anytime you're saying, what is the percent of a number? You multiply that number by the percent, always. If I want to say, what is 72% of 16? You multiply that, 72% times 16. So 201% of X, you're going to multiply 201% times X. 201% can also be represented as 2.01 times X. So this says the function F of X is equal to 201% of X. That, my friends, is just a line. It's a line with a slope of 2.01. So it's going up about like that. And there's no y-intercept on the end because we're in the format y equals mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. And there's no y-intercept there. So it's going through 0, 0. And it just has a slope of slightly over 2. So that is a line, it is a linear, and as we go left to right, it is going up. So it is an increasing linear function. Hey guys, if this was helpful or useful in any way, please let YouTube know so I can keep helping you and others like you. Comment, like, share, subscribe, you know the drill. Also, if you're interested in practical or fun math-related items like this math clock or this hopefully humorous t-shirt, click on the links down below to check out my Spreadshop and Etsy stores. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.